Hi, welcome again to my travel channel and welcome to Amman, Jordanian capital and one of the biggest and fastest growing cities of the Middle East. Amman has a population of 4 million people and is more than half of whole population of Jordan. Therefore, it is the main administrative, business and trade center of whole country. And it's also a place where most of people start their adventure around Jordan, including us, from Amman Airport. It's a real melting pot of ethnic groups and nationalities, since lots of refugees from nearby countries found their safe place exactly in Amman. It made big grow of population and Amman is real 20th century city although its history dates back to ancient times, to ancient Roman Philadelphia. But today's Amman grew in 20th century from small settlement to modern metropolis. Welcome to Amman. When Emir Abdullah chose Amman as its capital in 1921, it was the beginning of modern Amman as we know today. One small settlement has its fast growth to today's metropolis with population of 4 million people and most developed Middle Eastern city outside of Persian Gulf. It was initially built on 7 hills, similar to Rome, but now spans over 19 hills combining 22 areas, which are administrated by Greater Amman Municipality. More than half of the whole Jordanian population lives in Amman. Remains of Roman Philadelphia lies beneath the city and on Jabal al Qala Hill, where you can find amazing remains of a Roman citadel. Columns of Hercules are the most recognizable site in Amman, and an important orientation mark. During the Roman period, columns formed part of colonnaded entrance to the cella or inner sanctum. Citadel was inhabited after the Roman period as well, first as significant Byzantine settlement and later as Umayyad residence. Extensive Umayyad palace complex on the citadel is a remainder of its importance during the early Islamic period. Right under the citadel in the middle of Amman downtown is the Roman theater, which was the centerpiece of Roman Philadelphia, and also initial focus of Amman modern settlement late in the 19th century. Pride of modern Jordan is King Abdullah I's mosque built in the 1980s by the late King Hussein in commemoration of his grandfather, the first ruler of modern Jordan. Right next to the mosque is a beautiful Coptic Orthodox Patriarch, clearly showing the importance of religious tolerance in modern Amman. Weather can be harsh in Amman. While summers frequently see temperatures over 40 Celsius, winters can be chilly and snowstorms are not rare. During our stay, we experienced true snow blizzard.
often called the city of white brick buildings, a man doesn't impress on first sight. But its combination of modern architecture and traditional Islamic influences, ancient Roman remains and wide range of cafes, restaurants and bars make Amman ever more popular travel destination and best place to start exploring Jordan. <laughs>